Alright guys, we're just in the process of getting a bike to go and do a tour of the north of Vietnam. We're here at Style Motorbikes, they've got mad good reviews and they were really helpful in here already. Like they've been way more helpful than all the other places we've been to and we've been to a lot, believe me. We've been to a lot of places here in Hanoi and a lot of them are trying to flog you dodgy old bikes. You'll be really, really, really careful. A lot of fake reviews online as well. I'll try and differentiate between genuine and fake reviews. Very difficult. The way I do it is I just look to see how many tourists there are, see if there's any photos uploaded with the reviews to sort of help verify them and give them more credibility. But yeah, this place has got good reviews. They're so helpful in there. There's an English dude working in there. So um, he's been really helpful. He's even helped us with the route that's best for us to do and how long it's going to take us. and. Uh, the price is just as good as everywhere else. We've been to everywhere and everywhere is pretty similar in price. I suppose they're all just compete with each other online now, so they all know how much each other's getting away with selling it for. So yeah, we're looking at about $190 per bike for the month. Uh, if you want to do three weeks, it's $170. I thought we might as well just do the month for an extra $20. And uh, we don't have to rush. But also, you're going to need 110cc semi-automatic bikes here. That's pretty much what they all are anyway. There's not really many automatic bikes here. We did look into buying the bikes as well and selling them. But which sounds great, you think, oh, I'll just buy it and I'll just sell it to someone. But it's quite difficult to find someone to sell to. Also, all the shops around here will give you half price for it. So if you, so we got quoted to pay $350 per bike. And when you take it back, they will give you half the price for that. So, and if you take it to any of these shops, they're not going to give you a good price for it. They'll say there's a little bit of this dodgy, a little bit of that dodgy, which there probably is. And we don't know what we're looking at. So it's all just very confusing. It's way easier just to rent from these guys. Uh, for us anyway uh, also they give you free breakdown cover as well with the bike so that gives you extra peace of mind as you're riding around because god knows where if you buy them you're pretty screwed if you break down or you've got to pay out for that so the safer option is just to rent and we spoke to this dude he said if you're gonna have it for longer than a month you're better off buying but if it's just a month, up to a month there's no point in there's no point in going through all the hassle of having to sell it to someone and uh, probably getting ripped off so we're just gonna rent seems like the best option deposit is a uh, passport or 500 dollars per bike and don't worry if you've never ridden a semi-automatic before because they'll take you to a quieter area there's no quiet area in hanoi but there's a quieter area just around the corner they take you there tell you how to use it you do a few laps make sure you can ride it before you take it away so uh, if you haven't ridden one before don't worry all comes with the service it's pretty good <sighs> okay guys renting a bike here you're gonna need a lot of cash the ATM you're gonna to wanna to go to is the TP Bank. Only in Hanoi. There is only one in Hanoi. It is quite, it's about a 15 minute walk from this accommodation. You can get up to five million out per transaction and you don't have to pay any fees at all. It is by far the best ATM. The one we found was the Agribank one. That's pretty good as well. It's got low fees um, and you can withdraw three, three million each time and you've got to pay only 22,000 in fees. This is two, two bikes for one month. It's ridiculous how much cash you need. Like it's it's like a wad. It's about it's costing us about nine hundred and fifty pounds, rent and deposit included. Hopefully we get the deposit back at the end. <sighs> it's been an absolutely crazy morning. I have to go and get money out. We've got to check out. We've literally got to check out in ten minutes time. I just got to count the money up first. Make sure we've definitely got enough. Definitely got the right amount. And uh, yeah, off we go. Right, we're leaving Hanoi today to go on an adventure. Hanoi, if you ever come here, is probably the biggest emotional roller coaster you will ever experience. I have felt feelings of disgust, hate, admiration, pure joy, excitement, fear. All of the emotions that anyone could ever feel, I have felt in the space of two days here. It is an incredible city, but I'm really excited to get out into the countryside. Right, guys, we've just been recommended one more banh mi place before we leave. It's called Banh Mi Hoi An. Apparently all the different cities here have different styles to their food and uh, this particular Ban Mi place does their, their food in a, a Hoi An style and he said it's really nice so we're going to give that a go before we leave. We're just gonna, this is going to be our food before we uh, vacate the city on our journey, on our adventure and um, yeah I'm quite looking forward to trying it. Good, yeah? Best one yet? The best one ever. Yeah, they're bloody nice, aren't they? I gave him got pate. Yeah. I don't like coriander, but... It's, it's nice in there. Look how... 
Look fresh. at that lovely. Look how fresh it is. Oh, and, um, got a bit of spice. It's got, it's got like a little bit of mint in there as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mate, that's the best one yet. That's the best one I've had yet. We both agree. Bar Mi Hoi An. Fuck. It's bloody good. Really nice. Really crispy bread, fresh. Uh, really nice, fresh ingredients. Good price as well. It's the cheapest one yet. 35,000 each they are. But I've just got four. One for the road. Oh, I'm probably going to eat both of mine now. But yeah, really, really good in there. Really good. All right, let's hit the road. <laughs> All right, the first stop is Mai Chow. Directly west of here, about 150 kilometers we've got to do today. Well, this afternoon. It's half past, half past one in the afternoon. Just dropped the bike once already. Hello. Hello. No thanks, man. My shoes are, are clean. Look at them. Nah, nah, nah. Mine are clean. Look, they're going nice and clean. <laughs> it's the socks. The socks make them look dirty, but they're not. They're clean. <laughs> Oh, all right. All right, you're not going to drop the bike again, are you, Nat? Oh, it's going to be fun. <laughs> bye bye, deposit. <laughs> As always, before you leave a spot, quick fuel stop. Make sure it's full. In fact, we've just been told that some places we're going to have to bring a spare fuel with us because there's absolutely nothing along the way. Hanoi is actually insane to ride in. There's like a million bikes. Usually it's sweet as when you get on the bike and you just go with the flow, but the flow here is so chaotic, it's like it's quite difficult to keep up with. Especially when there's two of you as well. I'm trying to like make sure she's alright and trying to work out, make sure I'm alright. It's, it's, it's so much going on, you've got to be so alert. I'm glad it's we the ate. The cars, the cars are proper like cut you up. the shit they cut you up and they go so slow. Yeah, the cars go so slow and they do cut you up. They don't really care, They've, no one stops. Everyone just sort of moulds in. There's no waiting for each other, it just sort of mould. Weird. But yeah, we've got a long drive now, but it took us ages to get through the city. You've got to take Google Maps with a real big pinch of salt on how long it's going to take you, because it takes ages. Even getting out of the city just took us ages, so uh, we're going to hit the road now, see what we find along the way.